All right, new game PC, Windows installed. Time to play some games. Time to edit videos. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, first subscribe to Pinky Tech and then do these five tips to help increase the performance on your gaming PC. All right, so tip number one is make sure you set your power plan inside of Windows. Now to do this, just right click the start menu and choose power options from the menu that appears. From there, click on additional power settings and then click either high or ultimate performance plan depending on what options are available to you. Now sometimes you'll have to click the button that says show additional power plans before you'll see either high or ultimate performance. Either way, make sure to click on those. Now keep in mind, this doesn't mean that your PC is necessarily going to draw more power, it just means that Windows is no longer going to throttle your components to save power. Now I haven't seen any additional changes in my power bill from using this over another one, but you will see a change in performance. Tip number two, mouse acceleration. Now mouse acceleration will actually move your cursor slower or faster depending on how quickly or how slowly you move your hands. Now that sounds like a good thing, but in actuality what it means is that you're never actually going to develop muscle memory because your cursor to get from point A to point B is constantly changing how far you actually need to move depending on how much coffee you had that day. So to fix this, click on your start button and then start typing mouse, then click on mouse settings. Click on additional mouse options on the right hand side of the screen and then click on the pointer options tab. From here, you want to remove the checkbox under Enhance Pointer Precision and then click OK. Now this will greatly enhance your overall aim inside of FPS games, well, to the limit that your abilities allow it anyway. Tip number three, you really need to fine tune your Xbox settings. And yes, I know this is PC gaming, however, Microsoft makes Xbox, Microsoft makes Windows 10, which is what most people game on, and well, they try to commingle the two, and sometimes it works great, and other times, well, <laughs> you get crap like this. So to fix this, click on start and then type in Xbox and then click on enable Xbox game bar. Now from there, if you're not using an actual controller, make sure to go ahead and turn off the overlays and the controller options because while they don't necessarily affect the performance of your gaming PC, they're really not helping you and you might as well go ahead and turn them off before Microsoft adds another feature into it. From there, click on captures on the left hand side and make sure you turn off the recording of your game footage while you're playing games. Now, obviously this means that you're not gonna be getting game clips saved for you, but realistically, most people don't use this, and it just takes away a lot of performance from your gaming PC because it's always on, always running in the backgrounds, even when you didn't want to record it. And the third option that I would turn off here is Xbox Game Mode. Now, there's a lot of controversy out on the internet on whether or not this actually hurts or helps performance on your PC. My experience has been it doesn't really matter one way or the other, however, in 20 years of doing IT work, I can tell you, never let Microsoft control something that you can actually dictate yourself. And tip number four, speaking of stuff that you should control yourself, you need to make sure that you're installing your GPU drivers and probably your chipset drivers as well. Now, GPU drivers are absolutely crucial for the performance of your gaming PC. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you wanna look at it, Microsoft will actually install some kind of driver when you install Windows 10 so that you can actually see what you're doing, install the operating system, and you know, basically get up and running. The issue with that is, is that normally this is not either the latest driver or even a gaming driver that they are installing. Sometimes it's just a basic VGA driver and that will really kill the performance in game. So to fix this, all you're gonna do is go out to Google and Google your graphics card plus the word driver. So in our case, an RTX 3060 driver. Now make sure this is the actual manufacturer, be it EVGA, NVIDIA, uh, AMD, et cetera, and don't go out and click on a link that's to Bob's Virus and GPU Graphics Card Emporium. Uh, if you do, I didn't tell you to do that, and it's on you, and, and don't at me, bro. Now from there, once you click on these links, you're typically gonna get a link to download and install either Radeon Live or whatever they're calling their graphics package now, uh, or uh, GeForce Now from NVIDIA. And those are really for people that don't wanna mess with driver updates and such. You can actually just go ahead and install those and it'll keep your drivers up to date. Now I would encourage you to do the same for your chipset drivers, especially if you're running Ryzen instead of Intel. Intel will typically have a driver package from Windows Update, whereas Ryzen still isn't there yet. Uh, sometimes you will, but for the most part, Ryzen, uh, you're just not gonna get a chipset driver from Windows Update. Now if you're a content creator, you do video editing or streaming, etc. make sure that you manually install your drivers. That way when your software inevitably starts crashing, you know it wasn't because of a random driver update that was sent to you from either GeForce Now or Radeon Live. And that brings us to tip number five, 
and that is XMP or DOCP. You should be setting these actually before you even install Windows, uh, but the reason why you want to install these is that DDR4 actually runs at a rated speed of 2400 megahertz. And in most motherboards, if you don't actually turn on XMP or DOCP, then it'll actually run at 2400 megahertz. And if you're running a Ryzen chip, that lower RAM speed is really big hit on Ryzen chips. Even on Intel chips, you can still get better performance if you set it to the rated speeds. Now to do this, all you need to do is actually go into the BIOS on your machine, look for either XMP or DOCP, and you should get a profile one or profile two, depending on your RAM kit. Set the profile for it, see if it goes to that speed. If you get multiple options, just keep trying the options until you get the rated speed that you're looking for. After that, save and exit, reboot into Windows, and if you check your task manager, you'll actually see that you're running at the rated speed of your memory instead of the actual 2400 megahertz default speed of your memory. And there you have it, my five tips for making sure that your gaming PC is running smoother and getting the most FPS out of it that you can get. As always guys, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.